What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Batman here. Uh, yeah, so beta impression of the division. Now, I got invited. I think it was like 12 hours before the beta actually ended, so I didn't get to play with it uh, too much. But um, I did get the quiet play through the single, like the single story mode mission, and the dark zone. So I got to experience most of what the beta had to offer. I just didn't have a lot of time with it. Now we're gonna start off with the uh, first thing you see in the beta: character creation. Now in the beta they have the um, Creation actually was locked, so you couldn't create your own character. Now, that scares me. I'm not gonna like it doesn't scare me that Admiral well, does kind of with having it being locked because now they they either lock it for two reasons. They either lock it because they're not done with the character creator, which best case scenario that's it, or the character creation options are so few that they haven't locked, so people wouldn't complain about it. That's my fear because uh, ooh, watch out my mic. Because <laughs> I want to invest a lot of time in the division. I believe in it. I feel like it's going to be a great experience. But um, most of my great experience is right on whether the character creation is deep enough. Because in order to get fully invested in my character, it actually has to look like me, not just some random dude. You know what I mean? Which had, uh, that kind of scared me. And then, um, same thing. You get a cutscene right here. Uh, <laughs> which. I was pleasantly surprised by it, to be honest with you. I'm glad that cause lots of people have been comparing it to Destiny because, like, oh, loot, oh, like, kill off and stuff like that. At least this has good cutscenes. From what I can tell, every story mode mission is going to have a cutscene a cutscene, or some actual kind of story element to it instead of just, like, oh, hey, you're a guardian, go here, shoot stuff. Not have fun yet. No, like, it's going to have a story, which is very nice and reassuring. Um,. This, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm just going to talk about my experience and stuff. Welcome now, uh, shooting, movement. Sure Honestly, the third person shooting elements of it, which so is very apparent, worked was great. He's I feel like the movement system office, is really good. And everything that, um, or some things I've noticed in any Ubisoft third person no game is the animations are really well, like, they're really well done. To be honest, like, um, I know the, I know the animations in Watch Dogs are probably my favorite if I had to, like, take a few, but, um, the animations are strong, the camera is actually, I think, is the good distance, sprinting works fine, the, uh, I like how the HUD is minimalistic when you're in the game, like, you know, you have your bar, you have your cooldown, uh, counter, you don't have all this shit on your screen, which, uh, really helps you appreciate the, the graphics of the game, which, yes, they have been downgraded since E3, but, uh, at this point, did you really expect them not to be? But I still think the game looks fantastic on Xbox One. I'm sure it looks a lot better on PC, which I actually might be buying it on PC. But um, I'll buy two copies. I'll buy one on Xbox One and one on PC. But um, looks great on PC from what I've seen, anyways. Because uh, listen, you guys can't judge how good graphics are on you on YouTube because it's usually not in high as definition of your uh, TV, and it's a compressed video file. Compressed. <laughs> but anyways, um, I mean, look at these graphics. Look at them. These dead bodies here. It's kind of sad, but still, I like them. I'm, uh, I, uh, actually, before I get into, like, the specifics and stuff, I like to say, I had a great time. I had every single minute of playing, I was having fun. I would have a lot more fun if my friend got to get in by me, but he didn't. So I had to play everything by myself, which kind of sucked, but I still had fun with the game. And now the shooting, the shooting takes a bit to get used to, especially since it's been a lot, quite a bit since I played a third person shooter, like a good one, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the recoil and stuff seems kind of awkward to me, and uh, I don't know if it was just because I kept finding uh, medium range, long range sights, but it seemed like all the uh, sights, the ones that came down the site, were kind of the same, which um, I didn't like, I want like diversified uh, sites and stuff like that, but uh, I, this is the beta, this is the test, so, you know, things can change. At least they didn't like the fucking Rainbow Six Siege beta, where it was two or three days before the game came out, so they had zero time to fix anything that was wrong with the beta. This game, at least the beta is two months out from its release, its release and uh, it gives Ubisoft to fix some stuff. But, uh, loot, it loot's a big, big part. Um, I actually like it. I like how they're using real world weapons, but they still have the rarities and all that stuff with the bonus and stuff. I found that pretty fun. The only thing I didn't like is, uh, 
All my cool guns I found weren't good. Like I found the Vector, wasn't that good. I found the Uzi, which I, the Uzi is probably my second favorite weapon, if not my first. It's kind of a tie between the F2000 and the Uzi for like my favorite weapon in video games. But I found one at the end of the fucking beta. I only got to shoot one guy with it because it was like two in the morning. But yeah, the loot is great. I especially like the appearance options, to be honest with you, since from what I can tell, they don't have stats on them. And you get to like make your character unique and look badass and all that stuff. So that that's good. But um, Dark Zone, I might as well start talking about that, since like this is just impressions. I didn't get to play the game a lot. And also, I'm not scripting this. Sometimes I script my shit. Well, actually, on all my Rainbow Six Siege stuff, I usually script it. But on my impression stuff, I feel like it's better to just you know not script it and give you my thoughts. That's probably why I mess up talking a lot. Also, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> Air ventilation and purification systems. Anywho, online. um, Contamination levels lower. Dark Zone is pretty fun. I honestly enjoyed walking around trying to like kill the PVE enemies with uh, agents. other agents. up and running. Agents. So we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. I'm just gonna Our say base of operations agents. Has uh, but right now it's a piece <laughs> of shit. Knowing that they could flip on me uh, at any second. To and actually, I'm gonna go more doing. in depth into the dark zone and what I think needs to be like fixed doctors. with it. There's a virologist video. running a field but hospital I'm saying, over at Madison I'm just gonna say that. It was really fun. The There's a lot of problems shift. with it, but it, it with was her, fun. We can I get got our some medical really cool shit. A lot of LMGs with it. Pretty cool though. <laughs> the um, but yeah. Is out in the field also, crafting wasn't available. I was kind of disappointed by that. Base building was not very... Not really in the beta since... All you do is open up your medical wing and We've see some of the upgrades, but I just kept saying, like, not available. Power, not and available, the intel the grid can give us. But, they um, had a guy working on that. Overall, I think the division's gonna be a great game. I will be getting, and I'm going to probably do a review on it. I'm gonna start doing, uh, game reviews and stuff. That's, um, yeah, if you guys have managed to watch this far, if you played the beta, please tell me your thoughts. Um, if you didn't play the beta, sell me some of the stuff you've seen. Also, if you were so nice, you could also suggest to me um, an idea for uh, some Division videos. Because usually I do guides and stuff, right? But in the Division, I kind of, like, <laughs> I'm trying to guess, like, what you would do guides over. Like, I'm sure there's, like, orange rarity weapons and stuff like that, like, special unique weapons I could do guides on how to get and how good they are and stuff like that. The but wing is a wreck right I'm now. really lost. Once the vision looks like something I'm going to have a lot here, of fun with, except I want to make videos on it and I'm not sure what. Because I do most of my content supplies. scripted because my mic picks well. up quite a bit of a uh, of sound from the area. So if I try to do anything live, you know, everyone else in my house is being fucking loud shit. So I never get to do anything live, which hopefully I'm upgrading my mic soon. But uh, yeah, I found the beta fun. Loved it. Can't wait for the game to come out on March 24th, maybe? I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Now with the, 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 the